Grand day to everybody. My name is Speed Racer, and today we are back again with Electric Man 2, the Tournament of Voldigan. And I forgot to do something last episode. I forgot to introduce the game. So, without further ado, welcome to the Tournament of Voltigan, where combat teams of varied numbers compete against each other to determine the most powerful being in Stickman Universe. The current champion has never been beaten. Any combat combination of martial arts skill, street fighting, and superhuman powers can be used to wipe your opponents out. Let the games begin. Alright, and with that introduction in, let's get back into the battle. Enter our code in here. Good. Let's delete all that junk, because we don't really need it. And let's delete all this junk, and continue. Incorrect code. Hmm. Do I delete this? And this? And start? Yes! Alright! Ladies and gentlemen, round two is about to, this to start. We have the Dozer Men. And our previous champion, Emerald, is back again. He's doing a successful run and has not died yet. Will the Dozer Men be his death? And it doesn't look like it. He's coming out pretty strong today. Going out, dodging all the kicks and attacks, waiting for his supercharged attack to get ready. And he flings the Dozerman, hitting three at a time. Alright, he goes in for the punch on all of them. Kicks out of that, and gets another sweeping kick done. He's really showing the team yet, has not lost a hit point, and is just kicking it to everybody. The Dozerman just all oh, finally connected, doing a massive amount of damage. And they got another shot in with that. They're getting a little more antsy, a little better at their shots. And they're still all about half health, a little less. So, what will Emerald do to start weakening down the group? And can he grapple one, please? Nope, nope. He's got to escape. He's down to half health. It's getting intense, folks. We're coming into the final stretch of things. They are doing a massive amount of damage. Will he survive? And with that attack, he knocked out one. One more is about to bite the dust. And he escapes out of that onslaught. Taking out the leader. Oh, and a fury of fists. He dodges like a pro and finally takes them all out. Took him 103 seconds, and he took massive hits during the later part of that match. It seemed like he was getting a little tired, but the Dozermen were no match for him. Alright, on to round two, we get our new save code. We have round two, fight two. The Pyromancies. And Emerald coming off a very successful but nail-biting fight with 13 hit points left has to beat the quick and energetic burning hearts of the Pyromancy. And he comes out strong again, but we all know he gets a little weak as he's going through the rest of the match. Just waiting for more and more upgrades to go so he can dish out the pain. And he grabs another one, flings up against the wall, and moon jumps, kicking the crud out of him. He's just going around dodging. He's gotta find some way to get this without just dodging everything. And he kicks three of them. 
He's getting pretty good. Getting up, setting up combinations all left and right. He gets all four of them in an attack. And the pyromancies just have nothing to respond to him with. Oh, it looks like it's over for him. There's three left and he has all his hit points left. He quickly dodges out of that situation. Just did not have the move set up for that. He's got two more going. Slides under that one. He's dodging left and right. And punches him against the wall. This is incredible. He takes him out with a flurry of punches. 50 hit points. I'll take that. That's awesome. And remember, folks, this is all on pro setting. So that is awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean my voice to crack there. Hopefully that doesn't hurt the recording later. We get our new code. Round 2. Fight 3. The Replicants. And coming off his astounding no-hit win, he is fighting the Replicants. And he brings the fight right to him, not waiting for any punches to be thrown. And he moonwalks all over half the group. And he's just enjoying the music as he's walking all over the replicants. They just have nothing to respond with him. They clipped him nice and good for four points of damage. But he just takes it and doesn't even flinch. We have nearly all replicants down. There we go, and that is almost all of them. And they just walk in and take the beating. So, um, I'd like to point out, in that last fight, I beat him, and he still attacked me. But none of his attack counted, because he was already dead. So, cool! That works for me. Alright, without further ado, we have round two. Fight four against the plague. So, what can Emerald do against such a beast called the plague? Let's find out, folks. Four, three, two, one. Come out of the gate! And he takes a very conservative line, letting them get out and walk straight into his flying fists of furies. Connects into a moonwalk and gets the blazes out of there. He does not have anything to really respond to the high group of this and just moonwalks it or flips his way out of there. Yes, he's totally moonwalking. And the slow motion fists absolutely destroy him. It looks like one of the plague is just not up to the rest of them as he has completely beat them down. And there goes the first of the plague. And he just keeps on flipping through all the enemies. The worry, the triumph, there is just nothing they can do. Oh, it gets clipped by the back end of that. Grapples up for a knee to the head. And slow motion fists to take out another one. And he took a little bit of damage there, getting clipped with one of the punches. And he just responds by absolutely destroying them. And he did it with all combatants in the middle of the ring. Emerald has beat the second round. Alright, well guys, that was the second round of Electric Man. If you did enjoy this episode, thank you much. Hopefully you come back for the next round, and have a grand rest of your day.